Hey guys, Kelly Shepard Guy here. I am so sorry this took for like a lot longer than I expected, but Godzilla came out and I got distracted with that. Uh, I started playing a bunch. And uh, what else? I had, you know, I've had to do some stuff around the house and whatnot. And that was just my personal preference. Like I, had, I wanted to get my room a little bit better and whatnot. So I don't want to go into, into too much details, I don't want to like, give you my whole life story or nothing. But uh, let's get started, let's uh, check out Series 1, which I was pleasantly surprised by. Because I thought Scorpion would be good, and I was asked recently by Lone Wolf, um, who I thought was the better figure, and I wanted to say, I, I said, probably Sub-Zero because he's got uh, way more uh, detail than any of the other figures, or a little bit more detail I should say. Um, and then it started, I started thinking about it, I think that they're both, they're all good in their own way, I like, they work perfectly for themselves, I guess, characters, I'll get more into that when we get there, but that's, this is just the intro, let's check them out, uh, let me do your little 180 or uh, 360 thing, so you got Sub-Zero, and yes, he does have two swords, I, I did get two Sub-Zeros, if you, uh, watch my unboxing, on blah, 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 unboxing video, I have three scorpions, uh, had three scorpions, um, I got one Raiden. Uh, I didn't get many Raidens because I wasn't really planning to. I just wanted to get the whole series as a series. But I may get the previews exclusive because Raiden, uh, he impresses me, actually. He's a pretty nice figure. Um, so, and yes, I am c including Ice Clone, excuse me, Ice Clone Sub-Zero as an accessory because he is like the Ice Clone that he uses for him. I think if you get the Ice Clone Sub-Zero, the regular Sub-Zero, and then I think when the previewing, blah. Oh, gosh, sorry. When the previews exclusive comes, I think it's going to be the complete Sub-Zero, in my opinion. And the same thing goes for uh, Scorpion. Raiden, uh, not so much, in my opinion. I mean, maybe a little bit, because he's got, like, the whole zzzz on his legs or whatever. But, like, uh, I don't think you really need much for Raiden. I think Raiden is everything that you need right there in the Raiden figure itself. That's why I wasn't planning to get another one, but I may get the previous exclusive because I do like the uh, lightning ball, and I have an idea for it that I was thinking of. Um, it's either for that or for Sub-Zero's Ice Blast, but I'll get more into that when I get to uh, Customs, which I will uh, give you guys a sneak peek, like a quick glance at uh, two Customs that I've recently made. Uh, they are both uh, character, or one's a character from the game, obviously, and the other one is a fan, or a uh, create, uh, blah, 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 a character that I created uh, of my own design, and I have the backstory for him, and, and I will give him his own video, the other one will give his own video, um, thinking about maybe giving the MKX Predator his own video, give him his time to shine, but uh, I'm rambling on, I need to stop, so let's do some more, three... 60. Um, as you can see, yes, I did adjust the hood a little bit on him, so the hood goes down. I think it looks a little bit better, but also at the same time, it kind of looks goofy. Uh, I think if I ever did get another Scorpion, I'd keep him that way, the way he was, honestly. Um, but he still looks good. I like him. Um, and then you also can see that I have a kunai without a chain. Uh, that was a really easy custom. You just take one of your extra kunais if you've got a bunch of scorpions like I did. Like I said, I got three. So, uh, take it, your extra kunai and then twist it off. Like, basically, that's how you... It's it's actually pretty strong material, this stuff. Uh, when I was uh, working on my customs, uh, I had a heck of a time breaking off stuff and um, removing arms and stuff. They were, they're really on there. you got to give that to Mezco. These are very sturdy figures. Uh, it's a pain in the ass for us customizers, but uh, it's good for you toy collectors that uh, just, you know, want the best toys. And, uh, like I said, I didn't really mess up much of him. All I really did was take off his hood, put it back on, which was the bitch, by the way. Putting on the hood of Scorpion is not the easiest. Uh, super glue is not going to work. Don't do that. Uh, if you have epoxy sculpt, I would put epoxy sculpt. That's the only way I got um, the epoxy sculpt on his Inferno head, which I will show you. Because, um, like I said, these are my Series 1, but they're my only Series 1. And most of them are kind of like, I don't want to say customized. I mean, Scorpion is definitely customized. I made customized weapons, or two extra customized spears. Um, they don't look as good as I wanted them to. But they work, honestly. I think, uh, in, in like, if you see it from a distance, it looks pretty good. Um, 
And then Sub Zero, I just basically gave him all the extra stuff he came with, because I thought it'd be interesting to have two swords instead of one, and two ham or two mallets. I want to say mallets. Uh, these, this is, this is the, the accessory is called a nice hammer, but it's not accurate to the game, and uh, everyone knows that. Now, for the ice sword. I will prove to you why the ice sword is accurate. It may look small, but it is it, it is the same exact size that it should be. Uh, I've got a screenshot uh, that I got from the PlayStation 4 itself that I will show later on. But, uh, like I said, I'm rambling on. Um, so we went through 60. Let's go over their bios. Okay. Sub-Zero. Kwai Lang is the younger brother of Bihan, the original Sub-Zero. After Bihan was murdered by Scorpion, Kwai Lang swore revenge. He mastered the art of ice and cold and took his former's... Oh my gosh, I did it again. His brother's former code name. Sub-Zero. Raiden. Raiden is the eternal god of thunder, the protector of Earthrealm. Blah, that sounded bad. Earthrealm. After the second defeat of Shinnok, he ascended to the status of Elder God. Scorpion. Hanzo Asashi, no, now known as Scorpion, is a resurrected ninja, Hellspawn Spectre, inexorably seeking re la, bid vengeance against those responsible for the destruction of his clan and the... what? Yeah, and the death of his own family. Sorry, I apologize for that. That was a little messed up. But uh, the, uh, if you get the figure by itself, it comes with one ice sword, one ice hammer, and two alternate hands for Sub-Zero. You get Scorpion, it comes with two swords, two chains with kunais. I'm calling them kunai because that's what they're called, not spearheads. But I don't blame them for it because, you know, they're probably just like... They probably didn't do super research on these figures. They just made them as accurate as they look, which is good, in my opinion. I mean, I want to say that it's kind of, like, messed up that they don't go up above and beyond, but they are, they're also probably putting this toward general audiences that don't know about Mortal Kombat as well, so that's probably why they put Spearhead, and then, you know, you can research for yourself. But anyway, I'm rambling on again. I'm so sorry. Lightning hands, alternate hands, and a lightning ball for Raiden. Now, this is my personal opinion, but I think two Sub-Zeros is perfect for Sub-Zero. I think three Scorpions is perfect for Scorpion because of the customs I made. And Raiden, I'm good with having just one. And uh, like I said, I may possibly get the previews. But uh, let's start with uh, the review. We'll start with... Um, I don't want to say least favorite character, but let's just start with Raiden, since he is in the front. Okay, so you have Raiden. Raiden's detail is pretty dang good. And uh, also his hat is removable. Just like the uh, Jazzwares, but it's better engineered. And I'll get into that when I compare, which I won't forget this time. Last time I did a review for Scorpion, I forgot to compare him to this guy. But I have them all, and they will be compared. And uh, thanks to Lone Wolf I, for giving me the idea, I'm going to give away Scorpion in a giveaway. I haven't figured out how I want to do it, but I will be doing it, so stay tuned for that. Scorpion will be given away, and then the others I will be selling either on eBay or just online in general for like 15 each. I think it's a reasonable price. They're, they're the MK9 Jazzwares figures. They're not really worth much in my opinion, so I'm not going to try to sell them for like 50, 60 bucks or 30 bucks or something like that. That's, that's crazy. But uh, I digress. So you got amazing detail in this figure. I'm not sure you're going to see much. Is it going to focus? Or... Okay, maybe it's not going to focus. I am so sorry, viewers. I don't know what's going on with the camera. Usually this is like my best camera, but uh, it's not focusing. But I know you can't tell. 
which saddens me actually. But all this this gold stuff is sculpted in and plain it's painted pretty flawlessly actually for as tiny as it is. I know I sure as hell couldn't do it. There's no way. I would mess up. I barely made it through with uh, Predator's netting in this one Predator that I made, and the netting is way bigger than that. So, uh, kudos to Mezco for that. Uh, like I said, the detail on like all these figures is like top notch. Like, that is a given. It's like NECA quality for like a Mortal Kombat figure. It's like NECA got the Mortal Kombat license. Sort of. The only thing is that NECA doesn't usually do like a ton of accessories. So I I wanted NECA, truthfully, I wanted NECA to get Mortal Kombat license. I, I, I asked them so many times. I was like, NECA, 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 please grab that license from Jazzwares. But I have to say I'm really glad Mesco grabbed it because I think they drew it, they're doing it a lot better than I could have ever expected from NECA. But NECA sometimes does like surprise you, so who knows. But I think Mesco at the moment is doing an amazing job. I think Mesco needs to keep this up, just keep trucking with those uh, figures. And to everyone who is, you know, like upset that we're getting like a bunch of Raidens and Sub-Zeros and Scorpions, uh, honestly I think the reason why is for marketing purposes to like get them out there and you know like basically like you know g give us like our regular characters and give them a couple of variations so that we can make ultimate characters like I said once you have all the sub-zeros you have pretty much the ultimate sub-zero same goes for scorpion as I like I said for Raiden I think Raiden is complete already um, but we are getting new characters we are getting a series two, which I look forward to. It's got two characters, which I was surprisingly into when I first heard about them in MKX. I was like, eh, because one I didn't know, and the other one was someone who I've never liked, like ever. I've never been a fan of Quan Chi. In case you didn't know who I was talking about, Quan Chi was just like, oh, fuck you, Quan Chi. Like you messed up my boy Scorpion. You're not cool. But, what they did with him in MKX is really freaking awesome, I think. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything for anyone who hasn't played yet, but for anyone who doesn't like Quan Chi, also, you will get exactly what you've been waiting for. And that's all I'll say. Uh, but basically, I think it's really cool that they're uh, expanding and not, you know, not just doing these completely and going all out and going like crazy with like six or seven different variations. Um, but I am also glad that they are giving us a couple of variations, so we're not just getting Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Raiden, and then Katana, um, I'm sorry, Kotal, or Quatal, if you want to say it like Reptile, uh, Khan, and Quan Chi. And, uh, I gotta say, uh, honestly, if it was just them, it'd be cool and everything, but I think, I just think... Maybe it's just because I'm a fanboy of the ninjas, but I think Scorpion and Sub-Zero deserve to have at least one more variation or an extra variation. So I was very glad when I heard about the previous exclusives. Uh, whoa, I almost just knocked down everything. Um, but I digress, I need to stop getting off topic. But before I forget, um, I do want to say I'm so looking forward to the 12-inch Scorpion. Uh, he looks amazing. I cannot wait to have a giant Scorpion just sit there and look at it and be like, oh, it's Scorpion. But anyway, uh, I digress again. Um, let's get to, let's see, we did detail, um, sculpt. Sculpt is phenomenal. Can I just be lazy and be like, sculpt and detail for every one of these is phenomenal? No? Okay, I tried. But <laughs> seriously though, the, the detail is crazy for these figures, and, and they're not the biggest figures. They are they're almost six inches. They're they're like the right height to be in a six inch scale in my opinion. But if you want to like, uh, what's the word? Put them up against like a diamond select or something? No, 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 no. I mean maybe the venom. Like in my opinion, the venom works because I think venom could work in any scale because venom was pretty much every size. Now if venom's too much smaller than a human, then that's a little different. Unless he was like the secret war. Or not Secret Wars, but a uh, black suit spider man. Um, but uh, yeah, 
it's cool. Uh, let's get into articulation. Now, for Raiden, he doesn't have the best articulation, but he's still the top-notch articulation, in my opinion. Now, his head goes up a decent amount, uh, down a decent amount, and it goes side to side really well. And it goes side to side, I said side to side, I'm sorry, it goes diagonal really well, like it, uh, what's the word, it kind of, uh, pivots? Pivots, I think that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, the ball joint is actually way more, way better than I ever expected, because a lot of people said it was just like, a, like one of those regular ball joints, but I have to say, I think his ball joint may be the best. Uh, maybe Scorpion's is like slightly better, but I think his is the best because it's, uh, because of like the the range that you can get with this ball joint, it's a lot better than people are making it out to be. And his arms, his arms go up pretty far. I've seen a lot of people say that his arms only go like that far. I don't to, look. They go out this far. But anyway, um, I go around. I hope you're seeing this. I'm occasionally checking, so you are seeing this right now. Uh, he's got ball jointed shoulder. Or is that right? No. On a shoulder, I'm sorry. I don't know why is it that. Elbow, sorry. Ball jointed elbow that spins and, you know, does that thing. And the joints are still a little bit tight, so they kind of scare me. Now, gotta get into this. Lightning hand looks awesome and, and, like, amazing as crap, but it is also, I think, made out of the same material as this. And if anybody remembers with Sub Zero. I don't know if I said it or not yet, but uh, unfortunately, one of my Sub Zero hands snapped. Now, it snapped in half, but the joint still works. So rather than being really nitpicky and wanting to get the figure fixed, only possibly to break it again, it's just it's just what material they used. It's not their fault. It was an honest mistake. They just wanted to make it look like an ice cone, and it does. So I don't. I don't condone uh, Mesco for that, but uh, it just broke in half, but it still works. Like, it, is, it still works as a joint, and you will see that later on when I put in, uh, put, uh, yeah, da, 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 accessories into the mix. But, uh, I digress. Um, so, it is kind of scary, but so far it hasn't broke. Maybe it will when I get to doing galleries like everyone else has ever done. But it, it seems to be in, it seems to be a little bit stronger and a little bit more sturdier and like more flexible is the word I'm trying to look for than the uh, Sub Zero Ice Clone. So maybe they so whatever they use for that. If they ever decide to do a new or another Ice Clone or something with ice, oh, that reminds me. Preview or previews variant probably is like Ice Clone for the uh, hands. Oh, I really hope they fix that with the, uh, I hope they use whatever they did with Raiden with that, because, uh, that would be sad. I like the, uh, preview exclusive. He looks pretty cool. because uh, I like the ice, I, the ice mask that he has. The, uh, oh, what is it called? Cold something. It's, uh, someone please put in the comments what it's called. I cannot remember, and I'm so sorry that I can't. Uh, it's been a while since I played Mortal Kombat X. I've been busy with Godzilla. Man, I love that game. Um, I still love Mortal Kombat X. I kind of, my likes are expanded. I like Mortal Kombat X. I like Godzilla. I like Aliens. I like Predator. Uh, I dig the crap out of Pacific Rim. I mean, I, I talk down about it sometimes, but at the end of the day, when I come back to it, I'm just like, wow, this is awesome. <laughs> but, uh, once again, I digress. I'm so sorry about rambling on, but uh, my mind goes to other places. Anyway, um, legs. He's got ball joints that go pretty far, so like you can get him to do some... Wah! And then he does have the swivel on the ball joint, of course. The leg doesn't go out far enough. It's soft material, but whatever this is made out of, it's soft, but it's not soft enough to not hinder it. But you can work around it if you like want to. You can kind of, uh, what's the word? You swivel this, and then you would kind of work like that. But you can't get him to kick straight. Like you could turn him and it'll look good, but you can't get him to kick straight. And it's a bummer, but it's not a huge deal in my opinion. Um, you got ball joint on the uh, knees. For some reason I'm forgetting what these things are called. <laughs> um, 
Oh, I forgot to do the back. Uh, it goes back really good, though. Really good back. Uh, so you can get him in a running pose or whatever. Not that you would really need him in a running pose. Uh, you'd have more in, like, ultimate poses, as I like to call them. And I'll show you that in, in just a second. But he's got... Now, his foot is the down point of this figure, and I don't think it's really necessary because he doesn't usually get into really dynamic poses like the ninjas, so I, I'm okay with it. But his foot is kind of limited. It, it just kind of goes up and down a little bit, and the ankle pivot is barely there. You get, like, that much. So, it still works. Like, you could still get him doing some wide stances. See? But uh, you're not going to get him into any crazy poses. Now, what I mean by ultimate pose... Oh, and I should show that his hat does go back on, and it fits very snugly. Unlike you jazz wearers. Matter of fact... So you watch this. You put that on. Oh! Now! Now you're going to... Ah, oh, there you go! <laughs> See? No, seriously, though. This... Whatever they did with this, well, now it works, all of a sudden. And it just looks weird, because it's bent, but I'll get more into that when I compare. I'm being very mean to Jazzers, I'm sorry. No, I'm not, actually. You guys screwed us. That's just the truth. They lied to us. They did not tell us that they were cancelled. They kept trying to delay the inevitable, instead of just being, like, straight up, like, yeah, the line didn't work out, we cancelled it, sorry. They just kept saying, stay tuned for more news. Stay tuned for... That is messed up. So, yeah, I just gotta say, screw you, Jazzwares, for what you did. I think if they would have been honest, I wouldn't be so aggravated with them. I mean, I still think their figures are crap compared to Mesco's. But, uh, that's aside the point. Um, so I went through art articulation. Let me show you the ultimate pose I was talking about. So, if you have a NECA dog alien... Anybody has a NECA dog alien and a Raiden figure, just put his uh, body on top of the little thing and then close his legs, kind of. Boom. Ultimate pose. Check that out. That looks amazing. Looks just like he's floating and he's like... Tsh! Awesome. Anyway, so let's get on to the next... No, just kidding. Uh, accessories. <laughs> I almost forgot. So accessories, as you can see, he comes with a lightning hand. Just switch out, and then he comes with the gripping hand, which he has in there, and then if you want to see both gripping hands. Now, my Raiden's hands are a little loose, so they fit in, but they pop out. Well, no. One of these hands, I don't remember which one, but one of these hands pops out really easily. I think it's the straight hands, but anyway, he's got the gripping hands, which I think were originally used for Sub-Zero, if you look at prototype shots, I believe. Or no, I'm a dumbass. Look, it's right here. Gripping hands. Right there. But they changed them to the, uh, to the kind of, like, ninja, get, uh, like, what, it, what is the word? Uh, uh, chi, chi hands. I want to call them chi hands because, you know, like, that's what they do when they're, like, uh, concentrating their chi. But I think it looks way better with uh, Sub-Zero. I think it would have been really cool to uh, get some gripping hands, especially for the uh, ice ball, but uh, I think it works a lot better with Raiden because of the way his uh, lightning ball is a uh, thing. Blah, 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 blah. Can't talk. Uh, yeah. And then I'll switch out the uh, straight hand that I was talking about. And the straight hand, not sure the meaning for this interchangeable accessory. I guess to kind of just, you know, sit it right there and be like, what up? And just straight. I'm straight. I'm straight! But, uh, I don't know. I digress. Um, now, if you want to see more, you will see more when I make the uh, gallery video, which will be later on. You know how it works. I give you a review first, and then I show you galleries, and I take a crap ton of pictures, and I try to put all the love and attention that I feel for these figures in the gallery. So I feel like the galleries are a lot better in my opinion. The reviews are kind of just my opinion on how it is. I don't know which ones you guys prefer more, but I'm still going to keep doing that. Every time I do a review now, I'm going to start doing galleries right after. And because of copyright issues, 
uh, I will have to either do no music or whatever YouTube provides, which they had some pretty cool ones. If, in case you've uh, recently seen my Kentaro custom gallery and the uh, Predator custom gallery, I really like that song. The song is called um, The Death of Me, I believe, and it just sounds pretty cool. I like it. But uh, I digress again. I think I'm gonna have. To, I, I think I'm gonna say I digress at least like 20 or 30 times in this video. I apologize, viewers. And this video is almost over. I'm almost out of time. Wow, that was a long video. Okay then. Well, in that case, let me just do a comparison real quick, and then we'll just do it as a three-parter because it seems like one each is going to take up a whole video, which is going to be a long video. I apologize for this, viewers. Uh, I'm not going to be able to edit it because I can't edit it on my computer. I don't have the right uh, software, and I am afraid to get the right software because the last time I had the right software, it killed my laptop. I'm afraid to do that. Um, and this isn't even my laptop. It's a family laptop, so until I get my own laptop, I will not... I repeat, will not be editing videos unless it's on the PlayStation. If it's on the PlayStation, I can edit it. So, yeah. Anyway, comparison. Obviously, with Jazzwares and Mezcos, there's no comparison. But let's humor them just for a second. First of all, let's just look at the accessories, okay? Jazzwares has one. Okay, okay. A hat. 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 Yay, hat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, is it wait, 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 wait. Two of these, two of these, two of these. That's six, seven. Okay, eight accessories. It comes with a hat, six interchangeable hands, and a lightning ball. And guess what? Guess what, guys? Do you know how much Mezco's cost? 25 bucks. Do you know how much Jazzwares cost? 20 bucks. So literally 5 more bucks. For 7 more accessories. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But anyway. So detail. I really don't even think I really should even compare. But I'm going to basically do everything. And I'm... I'm not intentionally trying to hate on Jazzwares, but there's no getting around it. Jazzwares is the inferior. If you just look at the heads together, not to mention their heads are like really big compared to these are really weird. Anyway, the head sculpt is amazingly detailed. This is amazingly dumb. <laughs> I mean, it's a decent face sculpt, but I don't think it looks anything like Raiden. And I apologize if you look at my older videos and I said that he looked like Raiden, but I was way too much of a fanboy and way too excited that they were finally giving us Mortal Kombat figures that I could afford, because all the old ones that I think are way better than the, these uh, MK9 Jazzwares, by the way, um, were just way too much. Way too much. I mean, they were asking for like 300 bucks for the... the Scorpion and Sub-Zero from the Hot Topic, I was like, what? No! Because I really do like the design. I really, really do. But, uh, once again, I digress. <laughs> um, details. I've already been through that. Like, there's no comparison. Just look at them side by side. This one looks like you got it from the dollar store. Sorry, Jazzwares, but it's true. This one looks like you got it from a collector's comic shop or something. No comparison. Size.